Hello everyone, it's MedAnime here. I hope you are doing well. Today, I'm going to tell you about the story of a movie called Her Blue Sky. Released in 2019, this film is directed by Tatsuki Nagai and written by Mario Kasa who is famous for her previous work like Anohana. Before we go, this video contains spoilers. So please take this as a warning for those who haven't watched this movie yet. So without further ado, let's dive into the recap of Her Blue Sky. The story first brings us to a teenage boy named Shino, living in rural Japan, who is practicing his guitar with his band. He is accompanied by his girlfriend Akane and her little sister Aoi. Aoi, who is still a little kid, told Shino and Akane that she also wants to play in a band in the future. Initially, Shino thought that she wants to be a guitarist just like him. However, it turns out that she's interested to play the bass instead. Shino actually likes the idea and says that it would be cool for a girl to play as basses. He even says that Aoi could join their band in the future. However, tragedy hits the two sisters. They both lost their parents in an accident, leaving them only with each other. Shino, who planned to go to Tokyo together with Akane, tried to convince Akane to go to Tokyo after she decided not to leave the town. He stopped after seeing how Aoi needs Akane, which meant Akane couldn't possibly leave the place. Aoi kept telling Shino that she and Akane will always be together and told Shino not to take Akane away from her. This moment left a huge wound on both Shino and Akane. Then, 13 years later, Aoi grew up to be a teenager as well and is now capable of playing bass. She is now an aspiring bassist and plan to go to Tokyo directly after graduating high school and work as a musician there. Akane, who now is also older, came to pick her up. She took Aoi to a town meeting about an upcoming tourist attraction event which is a music festival. The event is organized by one of Shino's previous band members named Michinko. In the kitchen, Aoi is accompanied by Michinko's son named Tsugu. He asked Aoi why she didn't want to join the festival. She told him that she didn't want to join an event that is not about enjoying the music as that event is just for the sake of attracting tourists. After the meeting, Aoi and Tsugu go to hall where Shino's band used to practice intending to practice her bass. On their way, they are stopped by Michinko, offering her to practice at his house as he has a soundproof room at his house. Through this, Michinko shows his intention of dating Aoi's sister Akane, which is rejected by Aoi. She tells him that she wouldn't let anyone who's divorced date her sister. Michinko even tells her that it was not his fault that his wife left her. Before she left for the hall, Michinko asks Aoi if she remembered Shino or not. Aoi lied, saying that she barely remembers him. In the hall, Tsugu starts discussing the possibility for his father and her sister together. Aoi immediately stops him and asks him not to discuss it there. When the curious Tsugu asks her whether there is any particular reason not to discuss it there, Aoi goes into a flashback. She remembers the time Shino was teaching her how to play bass. Shino noticed that she has a mole in her left eye and told her that he has also one in his left eye. He told her because of it, they are destined to become famous in the future. Shino also declared them both the eyeball stars. Hearing that, Akane laughed at them both, which is then protested by Aoi and Shino. The next day, while discussing the upcoming music festival with a colleague, Michinko tells them that he has done a lot of preparations for it and has Akane assigned to help with the event. He then left after needing to rush for a meeting. In the afternoon, Aoi tells Akane about Michinko's feelings for her. Akane, however, asks Aoi about her decision not to go to college. The annoyed Aoi asks her not to discuss it anymore. Then, Aoi continues her daily routine of practicing in the hall. While she is playing too hard, she suddenly got someone criticizing her play and tells her to stop. She immediately realizes that the person is Shino. However, it seems to her that he is the exact version of Shino she knows from 13 years ago, not showing any signs of having age. Shocked, Aoi runs as fast as possible from the hall. Shino tried to pursue her, but an invisible wall seems to block and trap him inside the hall. At home, Aoi tries to tell Akane about what she saw. However, once Aoi mentions Shino's name, Akane's reaction seems cold, which stops Aoi from explaining further about what happened. Instead, Aoi tells her that she has been wondering about where Shino is nowadays. Akane responds by saying that the last time they talked was when he left for Tokyo and that she doesn't even know whether he's alive or not. This makes Aoi assume that the Shino she saw in the hall is a ghost. After all, he seems exactly like how he was 13 years ago. 
Suddenly, Michinko came and asked them why they are still at their house and not helping out for the event. This confuses the two sisters. Michinko then apologized for not telling them beforehand and then asked them to hurry. They all arrive at the station and are holding up a sign to welcome the band that will be playing at the music festival. While they are facing toward the arrival of the train, a truck pulls up from behind them, revealing a band playing with the main guest who is a famous singer named Nitobe singing. While the band is playing, Akane is shocked and lets go of her grip on the sign. She is surprised to see an older version of Shino playing as the guitarist for the band. Seeing that Shino is still alive and is older now, Aoi questions her theory that the Shino in the hall is the ghost of Shino. Aoi and Tsugu then go back to the hall to check on the young Shino. Shino then confronts them both about who they really are. He is surprised to hear Tsugu calling Aoi by her name. At first, Shino doesn't believe that she's the Aoi that he knows. But Aoi convinces him by showing her mole in her eye and calls herself the eyeball star number two. Shino then explains that after Akane told him that she will not be joining him in Tokyo, he felt that he doesn't want to leave the hall and he fell asleep there. He then wakes up after hearing the noise of Aoi's bass later. Hearing that, Tsugu deduces that he might be a living spirit born from his strong unresolved feelings for Akane. Shino then tells the two of them that he is not feeling down from that breakup with Akane. Instead, he plans to go to Tokyo, become a famous musician and come back for Akane after he succeeded. Aoi tells him that he actually did become a musician. This greatly excites the young Shino who tries to get out of the hall, but is stopped by the invisible barrier. Tsugu and Aoi then deduce that if adult Akane and Shino go back together, the young Shino will disappear. Meanwhile, Akane and Michinko are accompanying Nitobe and his entire band to a dinner. The adult Shino seems very uncomfortable during the dinner, especially when Nitobe passes the question of Akane and Michinko's relationship. Shino, who seems not feeling well after dinner due to over-drinking, is being taken to the hotel by Akane. Inside the hotel room, Shino invites Akane for a drink, which is refused by Akane. Shino then starts getting physical and making a move on her. Akane then skillfully flips him over and leaves the room with Shino on the floor, who also seems depressed. After coming home, Akane asks Aoi to sleep in the same room with her as they haven't done it for quite a while. In the room, Aoi asks her sister about what Shino was like in the past. But Akane doesn't seem to answer her question. Before going to school, Aoi drops by the hall and gives Shino her lunch. It is revealed that Shino doesn't get hungry but can still enjoy food. At school, Aoi saw Akane in Shino's school yearbook. She sees Akane's quote saying that the frog at the bottom of a well doesn't know the vastness of the sea, but it does know the blueness of the sky. After school, Aoi's friend Chika approaches her saying that she thinks that Aoi has a boyfriend who picks her up and drops her off from school every day. Chika insists to follow Aoi and get her introduced to one of Aoi's boyfriend's friends. Aoi knows how ridiculous Chika's assumption is but still does no action to stop her from coming. Akane then comes to pick Aoi up and Chika realizes that she's wrong but still comes along with Aoi. They all go to hospital where the bassist and drummer of the band got food poisoning and have to be hospitalized for a while. Akane then suggests for Michinko and Aoi replace them for the event as Michinko used to be a drummer and Aoi is a bassist herself. While everyone is initially against the idea, Nitobe seems to like the idea and approves it immediately. Adult Shino is really against the idea of playing with amateurs and underestimates their skills. To prove him wrong, Michinko and Aoi then play in front of them and the entire band seems to be impressed. At the night, young Shino compliments Aoi for being able to play with a professional musician. Suddenly, Akane arrives at the hall and everyone starts panicking to hide the young Shino. Akane then leaves some snacks for them and goes back. Shino, who was hanging to hide from Akane, says that Akane is still very pretty despite her age. Before Aoi and Tsugu left, Shino asks to borrow a phone because he is so bored inside the hall all the time without being able to leave. While Tsugu refuses to lend him his phone, Aoi doesn't seem to mind as her only contact is only Akane and Tsugu. The next day at practice, the adult Shino continues to show discontent to play with Aoi and Michinko. He even goes as far as saying that women aren't fit to play as bassists. While he says it, Aoi remembers how young Shino told her that a girl Playing as bassist will be interesting. This shows the comparison of the past and current Shino. Later on, a bunch of girls come in and surround adult Shino. Apparently, Chika has been recording the entire practice up until that moment and sends it to Aoi's phone. 
Yang Shinno, who saw the video because he was holding Aoi's phone, gets angry and disappointed about how he has changed. Seeing how Aoi is so down, Yang Shinno encourages her while she is practicing the hole. Aoi then slowly realizes her feelings for Yang Shinno. Now, to prevent Yang Shinno from disappearing, she tries to get Michinko and Akane together. While Aoi offers to help, Michinko refuses the offer. He even says that he intentionally gets Shino back home for the music festival. While helping to set up for the event, Akane is told by one of the band members that Shino actually once had a solo debut, he only did one song. Meanwhile, Tsugu confronted Yang Shino in the hall. He tells Yang Shino that he likes Aoi and that Yang Shino is his only rival. Tsugu realizes that Aoi is not so bright, so he has been working hard to be able to protect her and feel what she lacks. Around the music festival venue, Akane found Shino playing guitar by himself. She asks him to play his only song which she played as a solo guitarist. The title of the song is Her Blue Sky. They both seem to enjoy their time together so much. Akane laughs while Shino plays his guitar. After Shino leaves, Aoi, who is around, sees Akane crying by herself. She realizes that Shino still means a lot to Akane and that her selfish wish to have the young Shino stay may not be the best decision for her sister. Aoi starts thinking a lot about her sister. At home, Aoi finds Akane's notebook filled with notes written by Akane. Aoi finally sees Akane's burden all this time. How she sacrificed everything for her. How she seems perfect to her every time even though she has been trying really hard for her little sister. She goes to the hall and confesses to young Shino that she likes him and wants him to stay forever. However, she also loves Akane who still has feelings for the older Shino. If they both get together, the young Shino will disappear. She is hit with mixed feelings, she doesn't know how to respond. The next day, Nitobe lost his lost pendant and says that he can't perform without it. From the pictures he took, they found that the pendant is probably lost inside the tunnel. Akane volunteers to find the pendant there. Meanwhile, in the hall, adult Shino finally met the young Shino, which is very shocking for both, especially the adult one. While inside the tunnel, Akane experiences an earthquake and a landslide occurs. At the event venue, Michinko gets the news of a recent landslide. Aoi freaks out when hearing that it happened somewhere near where her sister currently is. She tries to call Akane but to no avail. At the hall, young Shino asks the old one if he is there to take his Akane special, which is the treasured guitar that he bought together with Akane after saving up for a while. Their conversation gets heated with young Shino questioning how the adult one acts. As Aoi arrives, she tells them about Akane and the landslide. The young Shino seems very concerned, but the adult one still seems very calm as if they can't do anything about it. They both got into an argument and teenage Shino tries his best to break free from the invisible barrier. After struggling for a while, he finally breaks free with the help of Aoi and at the same time, the strings of Akane's special also broke. He quickly grabs Aoi and takes her to Akane. On their way, young Shino takes Aoi to the sky while grabbing her. All the while, adult Shino tries to chase them using his car. Inside the tunnel, Akane finds the pendant and still seems calm even though she is trapped inside. Young Shino arrives inside the tunnel and tells her about his situation. Shino also tells her how scary it is that nothing still faces her no matter the situation. They both have a heartfelt exchange before the adult Shino arrives. Young Shino manages to get them out of the tunnel and Akane instantly rushes to her sister, ignoring the embrace of adult Shino. Aoi says that she wants to walk home, while Akane goes home with the two Shinos. She also tells her farewell to the young Shino. Inside the car, young Shino falls asleep and seems exhausted. Meanwhile, Akane and adult Shino talk about their future. Shino will not stop pursuing both his dream and Akane this time. Akane also tells him that she will start making onigiri that Shino likes from now on, which indicates how she responds to Shino's confession. Hearing the two talk, Young Shino slowly smiles and finally disappears. On her way home, Aoi cries and screams to let her feelings out after losing his loved one. As she calms down, she starts walking slowly and remarking how blue the sky is. In the post credits pictures, we can see that they all move on eventually. As Aoi graduates, Akane finally gets to go outside and explore the world. After a few years, Shino also finally gets to marry the love of his life, Akane. So that concludes the recap of Her Blue Sky. What do you guys think? Same as lots of movies nowadays, we are pleased with stunning and gorgeous animation, which seems to be a standard for movies everywhere now. Its emotional scenes and thought-provoking themes are well delivered by the characters in the storyline. 
The struggles faced by teens and the impact of their choices on their adult lives have been masterfully depicted in the film. It illustrates the adulthood is not all rainbows and butterflies. It is rather a complex, often murky reality where we all have to bear responsibility for our lives. Please tell us what you think through the comment section. If you like this content, leave us a like and share them with your friends. Thank you for watching until we see you again.